Okay, so welcome to our management science lecture again. So we have been discussing computer solutions for linear programming problems. So before we have discussed how to um, calculate and solve linear programming problems manually, and even in Excel, you know, even if even the graphs uh, are done manually using the Excel charts. But in our previous lecture, we also discussed that it's actually possible to have a separate um, application that we can incorporate to Excel so that we can uh, have the Excel solver and run the graph, you know, in just one click at the same time. So the same with the, uh, okay, so that one is called Excel QM application. And the same with the Excel QM, we have, a, you know, the same, almost the same um, application, but this one is, you know, totally separate from the Excel. So we call that quantitative method for Windows. So let's see how it is different or how it is comparable with Excel QM. So first we need to download it, okay? So of course we search from our Google and we can just use the, the same link or address that we use in downloading Excel QM. So here, down here, we have the download for the QM for Windows. So I have already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna repeat it, but once you start the download, um, the installation, the installer will go, of course, to your program. So if you just hit on that, then, and you know, uh, until you finish the installation, you will find your installed QM here. Well, depending on what you choose, okay? So this time, we can start using the QM for Windows, and this is how, okay, it looks like. So we have here quick start instructions, but let us now start, okay? So the first step is you have to select the a quantitative method that we're gonna use, and that is linear programming. So the same with Excel QM. So this is linear programming here, or we can just click from here, module. So we also have the various quantitative methods. So if we click on that, you know, we'll, we'll have this window appear here. And just like in Excel QM, so we'll just have to put the title of what of the report that we are creating. So let's base that from our example problems. So this time, again, we are going to solve for Beaver Creek Pottery Company. So let's just type there, Beaver Creek Pottery Company. Okay, and Beaver Creek Pottery Company has two variables and two constraints. So let's keep the number of constraints to two and then the number of variables to two. So we don't have to include again the non-negativity constraints since we're using the linear programming uh, method. Okay, so we can leave the defaults here as they are. Of course, the objective we have to choose correctly if this is about maximization or minimization. So Beaver Creek Pottery is uh, about maximization. We can just click OK here, and we have our table here, just like how Excel QM provided it for us. So we can just um, edit the numbers in here. Also, we can, you know, fix this. If you want, let's say, this to X and Y, we can do it. All right, and then... Uh, Maximize, what do, what do we want to maximize? So our coefficients for our profit is 40 and 50. So basically your columns here, okay, the X1 will be the coefficients for X1 and this is the other coefficient for X2. And then we have the column for our inequality function and we also have the column for our right hand side. Okay, of our constraint. And then the equation form will be automatically provided to us based on what we input in here. So even if you still don't have the linear programming model, once, as long as you input the correct information here, you will actually be provided by the QM for Windows, the linear programming model that we need. 
Okay, so for the constraint, we can actually edit this. So let's say our first constraint is labor. And then that is one and two coefficients. And then that is less than or equal to 40. This is already okay. So we just type 40 here on the right side, hand side. And then we have clay. And we have four and three as our coefficients. And we have less than or equal to as our inequality function. And our right hand side is 120. Okay, so you see here, um, our equations are provided to us and it's actually the same with this. So to solve this, we can hit on solve. And there it is. We're already provided with a solution, okay? 24 for x1 and um, 8 for x2 and our uh, maximized profit will be 1360 okay so there are other information here but there are also uh, a set here of the solutions actually these are just you know small parts of this you know just like um, you know small reports or separate reports with more information or detailed information so this time what we want to see is the graph so it's a number six if we click on that we uh, we have the graph you know just one click so this is it so just like in excel qm okay we are provided here on the right side the um constraint display okay so our constraint lines and also our profit line so and then our optimal solution uh actually these are points constraint points and where um our optimal solution is being chosen okay so first is if it is 0 and 20 okay so we have it here so that will be 1000 in profit and if our x1 is 30 sorry this is 0 and 20 and then if we have 30 for x1 this is it and 0 for x2 we'll get 1200 and then the other point that we have is uh, 24 and 8. So we'll get 1,360. So QM for Windows has automatically chosen um, this point for us as our optimal solution. Okay, so easy. So uh, let's try to solve another one. Okay, so we just, we can save it or not save it. So let's click on new and I want to save it so okay so let's save um, let's solve for flare furniture okay flare furniture company where we have um, four constraints here Okay, so that is four and two variables. So this is also about maximization. So click OK. I have put Z. Sorry, that was a mistake. And we can just enter again our coefficients here. Seven and five. Okay, and then our constraint is three and four for carpentry. And this is less than or equal to 2,400. Our next constraint is painting, where we have two and one as our coefficients. This is also less than or equal to 1,000. We have our next constraint that is minimum table. So we'll put one here, zero for X2, and then this should be greater than or equal to, okay, greater than or equal to 100. And then we have maximum chairs. So x1 is zero, x2 is one, and we have this less than or equal to function and 450 as our right-hand side, and that's it, okay? So this is our 
a linear programming model. So it should be the same as we have it here. So by the way, if you want to change our value, um, you know, the letters here, we can change it to T and C. So let's just change it to T and change it to C. So no problem, right? And then this is good. We can hit solve and there it is. We have 320 and 360 profit of 4,040. And then when we hit on graph, then we should be able to see the same graph as we have solved it before. And here on the right side, we have already the optimal solution. So these are feasible region, these are feasible corner points, and we have here highlighted the optimal solution. Okay, that's it. And let's just solve another one, last one for the minimization okay which we will base on the holiday meal turkey ranch turkey ranch okay so you see it's very easy with all this uh, application so we have two variables and three um constraints excluding the non-negativity so let's adjust it to three and now our objective is minimize okay we can just leave all the rest like that since we can edit it anyway so first coefficient for our uh, objective function is 0 0.10 and 0 0.15 okay by the way we want to change um this to a and b instead of x1 okay so we can change like that. First constraint is for protein, and that is five and 10 coefficients, less than or equal to 45. And then for vitamin, we have four and three, less than or equal to 24. And then we have iron, which is 0.5 A, zero of b and that is less than uh, greater than or equal to 1.5 and there it is okay so it should be the same and click on solve we already have here 4.24 a 2.4 for b with uh 78 cents of our minimized cost which is our optimal solution if we hit on graph then we should be able to get the same graph okay and we have here highlighted our optimal solution so this is it for using qm for windows right so thank you and god bless you this uh, almost concludes our um you know topic for linear programming on computer solutions and also the graphical solutions okay Thank you. God bless you.